It is the saga of Leander Perez and his two sons, Leander Jr. and Shallon, both of whom inherited a lot of money and a lot of power when their father died. But the Perez dynasty has fallen on hard times. The sons of Leander are feuding, and that's just got to have the old man tossing in his grave. For its size, Plaquemines Parish is one of the richest areas in the world, containing vast deposits of minerals and enormous oil reserves. Between them, Lee and Shallon Perez hold all the power that counts in Plaquemines Parish. They are the law. But suddenly their hold is slipping. The brothers themselves are fighting for control of the empire that their late father left behind. And there are signs that the domination of Plaquemines Parish by the Perez family may finally be coming to an end. And both of them no longer, in my opinion, have the confidence, nor do they deserve, to serve in public office in Plaquemines Parish. But change is on the way to Plaquemines Parish in the person of council member Luke Petrovich. In the midst of the feud between the brothers, Petrovich has stepped in, emerging as leader of a group that seeks to topple from power both Perez brothers. Now, Judge Perez was more than a rabble-rousing segregationist. He was a brilliant manipulator and financier. Back in the 30s, when the Louisiana oil boom first began, he formed a corporation called Delta Development, which managed to secure leases on a vast expanse of oil-rich parish land, thousands of acres. And then he subleased that land to oil drilling companies in exchange for overriding royalties. He became a millionaire many times over. And even today, Delta Development is a Perez family gold mine. Uh, there is no way that they could have been treated more fairly. The truth indicts them. And uh, the mere fact that they are trying to say that I can be district attorney, uh, and that's what Lee is saying, and Shallon is saying that I can be president of the council and commissioner of public affairs who is entrusted with the responsibility of supervising those parish lands, and at the same time try to tell the people <coughs> that they are justified in getting millions of dollars from those very lands that they control is in itself a story which indicts them. It makes them dishonest, uh, and it makes them border on uh, criminality. satisfied that I will never be convicted of anything because there has been no wrongdoing on Shallon Perez's part. Well, what's the problem then between you and your brother? Well, very unfortunately, I had an older brother who uh, liked to play, who really never took his job seriously, and, and uh, a lot of it had to do with the fact that Shallon Perez had to tell his brother from time to time, well, look, Lee, uh, you want an airplane to fly back and forth to your hunting camp and to your fishing camp, and that's just not right. That's not an authorized expenditure of public funds. Uh, and many other similar situations like that, where I was the guy handling the purse strings, I was the head of the government, and, and uh, he wanted certain things. And when I told him I'm sorry, I didn't feel that it was uh, an authorized uh, expenditure of public funds, his immediate response was, I'm going to get you, I'm going to investigate you. So. You make him sound almost like a child. I beg you make him sound almost like a child, like a spoiled. He is. I can't prevent him from saying anything about me. I do not uh, remark about his actions. Well, I have a sworn obligation as district attorney to enforce the law, and that's what I will do. I'm here to serve the people of Plaquemines Parish. That was my father's wishes, and I will continue to be district attorney. It's unfortunate that uh, uh, two men in their late 50s, uh, two men with uh, inestimable wealth, and, uh, and uh, uh, one he uh, hesitates to say absolute power within Plaquemin, but uh, it, uh, it gets to feel that way sometimes. And uh, they're both uh, uh, still known as the sons of Judge Perez. Now, what happens? 
It's the DA's office. <laughs> Well, I don't, like, I don't like those terms the two most powerful people in Paris have been feuding because I've been trying to keep my nose to the grindstone, run my business and the Paris business as it should be run. I'm not out to indict my brother. I'm not out to hurt my brother. It's the other way around. So there is no such thing as the feuding, but the opportunity is there uh, for people who uh, have ambitions to try to uh, uh, jump into a position where they, where they see a... a uh, a disunity and a, a disorganized situation where they can say, ha, ah, this is my chance, I'm going to take over, you see. Now, I think CBA should be commended for, for that, that work and point it out to the rest of the country. Huh, Inga? Okay, we're going to tell everybody the truth, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Luke Petrovich is a long-time associate, the right-hand man, described by many as the right-hand man of uh, Judge Perez. So, um, uh, Mr. Petrovich, I uh, question whether he has seen any light. He may have seen light at the end of the tunnel, the tunnel, that light coming from the, uh, uh, the rift between the Perez brothers, and uh, um, who knows what opportunities those hold for Mr. Petrovich. Uh, the fact that he raises these issues about the, the oil leases, those are issues that have been raised by many the, um, over the decades. But it could well be that after 20 years of sitting on the... Uh, police jury and the commission council, it could be that Luke Petrovich wants to uh, sit in that middle chair and run parish government. Now what political garbage has been spread is false. You understand? And go ahead and pursue that line. It's all right with me, because I have no political ambitions. I never did. Yes. The same group now, for, for whatever reason now, we have a, a disrupted parish, we, almost a place where you're embarrassed. Wherever you go, they laugh about it. Like a farmer, if we planted a crop, and that crop comes up, and we felt we had a good crop, but we found out we got half the crop is full of weeds. A good farmer then takes and he plows the whole thing under, he buys new seed and he plants it. Gentlemen, I promise you, if you don't straighten your problems out, we, the people, are going to are going to start an impeachment proceedings and clear out this uh, this unit and our new people. And we don't want the old. Ones. 